Peace and love, y'all. Good morning. Um, I wanted to show you and kind of educate you on the origin of species that Charles Darwin talked about. Um, I am not an anthropologist. I am not actually an anthropology major. It's my minor, but I love it and I think it's the coolest thing ever. I learned this this semester that we all actually originate from Africa, so I'm not really sure why America has such a, a problem with um, dark skin. Um, and it turns out actually that we all originate from the same species, which would have been like, I want to say it's Neanderthals, but please don't quote me on that because again, I am not um, a professional. This is not my, I don't have a degree in it. Anyway, either way, we all originated from the same species, which originated from Africa. And that is, it's been proven time and time again. Those are the remains that we found and they all are along the same line. Um, I wanted to share with you puts up a, variety of a doctor who is speaking on the subject. Things about our environment. And for many decades now, there have been a series of TOMS satellites that have collected data about radiation at the Earth's surface. The TOMS 7 satellite data shown here show the annual average ultraviolet radiation at the Earth's surface. Now, the really hot pink and red areas are those parts of the world that receive the highest amounts of UV during the year. The incrementally cooler colors, blues, greens, yellows, and finally grays, indicate areas of much lower ultraviolet radiation. What's significant to the story of human skin pigmentation is just how much of the northern hemisphere is in these cool gray zones. This has tremendous implications for our understanding of the evolution of human skin pigmentation. And what Darwin could not appreciate or didn't perhaps want to appreciate at the time is that there was a fundamental relationship between the intensity of ultraviolet radiation and skin pigmentation. And that skin pigmentation itself was a product of evolution. And so when we look at a map of skin color and predicted skin color as we know it today, what we see is a beautiful gradient from the darkest skin pigmentations toward the equator and the lightest ones toward the poles. Now, what's very, very important here is that the earliest humans evolved in high UV environments in equatorial Africa. The earliest members of our lineage the genus Homo were darkly pigmented. And we all share this incredible heritage of having originally been darkly pigmented two million to one and a half million years ago. Now, what happened in our history? Let's first look at the relationship of ultraviolet radiation to the Earth's surface in those early days of our evolution, living at the equator, we were bombarded by high levels of ultraviolet radiation. The UVC, the most energetic type, was occluded by the Earth's atmosphere, but UVB and UVA especially came in unimpeded. UVB turns out to be incredibly important. It's very destructive, but it also catalyzes the production of vitamin D in the skin vitamin D being a molecule that we very much need for our strong bones, the health of our immune system, and myriad other important functions in our bodies. So living at the equator, we got lots and lots of ultraviolet radiation, and the melanin, this wonderful, complex, ancient polymer compound in our skin, served as a superb natural sunscreen. This Polymer is amazing because it's present in so many different organisms. Melanin in various forms has probably been on the earth a billion years and has been recruited over and over again by evolution, as often happens. Why change it if it works? So melanin was recruited in our lineage and specifically in our earliest ancestors evolving in Africa to be a natural sunscreen, where it protected the body against the depredations of ultraviolet radiation, the destruction or damage to DNA, and the breakdown of a very important molecule called folate, which helped... Okay, so if y'all are interested in that, you are welcome to watch more. I will link this. Um, again, so people literally are 
I'm gonna say racist. I'm not saying whites, I'm saying racist. Are angry that some of us have more sunscreen than others. So weird. We all originate from the same place. This is science and science is consistently um, debated, consistently. And new science is found and then that's debated on whether or not it's valid. I am not the one who debates this because I don't have a degree in it, but this woman does. She has a PhD in anthropology. So um, <laughs> we can't really argue at this point with whether or not that's true because science supports it for now that we all come from the genus Homo, and um, which means that we all bleed red. That's, I mean, we all are basically, we have more in common than we have different at this point is what I'm saying. Um, and natural selection is what decided whether or not we would have dark skin or light skin based on where you lived, based on the region. And as we evolved, um, skin color evolved as well. So again, I just wanted to share with you guys um, some science because it's cool. I love science. I think it's amazing. I'm not very good at it, but I love it. And um, just give you some background to the very distant past, the very distant history of humans, homo sapiens, our species. Have a good one. Also, sorry I don't look that cute today. I decided it just didn't matter because we're still in a pandemic and I didn't want to get dressed. <laughs> so, don't judge me for that, but have a good one.